We're just going to do another brake comparison today um, with a T3 Tika. It's a 6.5 Creedmoor shooting 140 grain Amex. This is about 2700 feet per second. It weighs 8.7 pounds um, with a big night force on it. And we've got a T2 Terminator there. And this is clearanced um, for the 6.5. That's at 7.4 millimeters through hole. Then we're going to increase it to 8 millimeters um, for 284, 8.6 millimeters for 30 cal, 9.3 millimeters for 338, um, 10.3 millimeters for 375, and hopefully 12.5 millimeters for 458. And just see what the difference in recoil is. So, yeah, that's the plan just to show you the recoil difference between a bigger through hole. So here it is with a 7.4 mil hole designed for 264 caliber. So here it is with an 8 mil through hole for 284 7 mil. Here it is with an 8.6 millimeter hole for 308. And this is the hole that the 5824 T2B has. So it can go on either a 308 AR or a 6.5 AR. So here it is here. So here it is with a 9.3 millimeter hole, clearance for 338. Here it is with a 10.3 millimeter through hole, that's clearance for 0.375. So here it is with a 12.5 millimetre through hole, that's nearly half an inch, and that's clearance for 0.458 calibre. So here you go. And here it is, just bare with no brake on it at all. So that's where it ended up with no brake on it at all. And there's a T2B, that's the 30 cal one with a 58 by 24 thread. There's the T2 that was on the rifle with a through hole so big you can fit a loaded round down through it. And the next beside it is a T2B for the 223 and that's got a half by 28 thread. And you can see where it ended up with a massive through hole. So that really started to degrade the performance. There's a loaded round. And you can see with the 375 and the 338 it really started to hurt it. But still not that bad considering where it ended up with no brake on it at all. And you can see there the 264 and the 284 and the 30 cal clearance holes basically made no difference at all. So you could happily run a 6.5 Creedmoor um, through a 308 hole with probably no drama at all. I doubt it would affect accuracy. And yeah, so there you go, as far as recall performance goes. It's another very interesting test. Thanks for watching.